installation video of Min XH Inverter, an APXHV battery system. The APXHV battery with P0 power module is compatible with Growatt Min XH and Min XH2 series inverters for the residential energy storage solution. Min XH inverter features dual MPP trackers to ensure high power output. It also includes Type 2 SPD on the DC side, an FC function for enhanced safety. The design of battery ready makes it future proof inverter. The APXHV battery system offers flexible capacity options, ranging from 5 kWh to 30 kWh. Optimizing energy at the module level can realize more efficient application. And it also supports to mix new and old battery modules in one system. You can enjoy the convenience of easy installation with our modular and stacked design. The APXS0 system's maximum output power of 6.2 kW is also limited by the inverter's maximum output power. Please note that only main XH and main XH2 inverters are compatible with P0 power module. The MOD XHBP and MID XH should work with P2 power module. Before installing, please confirm the battery installation environment and prepare the appropriate installation tools. When setting up outdoors, it's important to build a shelter to protect the battery system from direct sunlight or rain. The battery can be wall mounted and floor mounted. In this video, we take floor mounted installation as an example. The distance between the battery and other items should be greater than 300 mm. As a reminder, additional wall bracket is required for wall mounted installation. Open the inverter package and you will find various parts including the main XH inverter and its accessories. The interface of main XH inverter We offer the power module and the battery module in two separate packages. Open the power module package first to get the P0 power module, battery base, cables, and other accessories. The interface of P0 power module. Next, open the battery module package to get the battery module, cables for battery connection and other accessories. The interface of battery module. Each power module package contains one battery base. If there are more than four batteries, they should be installed in two lines. It's necessary to purchase an additional battery base and APX 5.0 PB1 parallel extension cable for connecting these two lines of batteries. Position the base in the appropriate location and adjust the base feet to keep them level. Pay attention to the orientation of the battery and avoid placing it in the wrong direction. Place the first the battery module onto the battery base. Then install the connecting pieces on both sides and securely tighten the screws. Also, install the anti-tipping plates on both sides and mark the holes on the wall. Use the marking off template to accurately align the screw holes and fix the M6 screws in the wall. Stack the second battery module onto the first one, attaching the anti-tipping plates to the battery module, then secure it to the wall. Place the P0 power module on the top and repeat the previous steps to fix the power module. Pull up the handles and tighten screws to connect the metal connectors between batteries. Make sure
sure all the connectors on both sides of the APX battery are firmly attached. When wiring the battery system, it is important to follow a specific order. Begin by connecting the grounding cable, then proceed to communication cable, and finally the power cable. Take the dust caps off the battery interface and connect the batteries one by one as follows. Link the grounding cables between each module, followed by connecting the communication cables between the link in and link out ports. Next, link the positive and negative power cables between battery modules. The cable is used for communication between the power module and the inverter. The terminal definitions for the connector are shown in the table. Select the terminals 1, 2, 7 and 8 on one end of the communication cable and insert them into ports 1, 2, 7 and 8 of the connector. Lock the side screws to secure the pins. Lock the communication connector according to the position of the arrow. Thread the power cable and communication cable from the inverter through the protective rubber ring and connect them to the corresponding interface of the P0 power module. Then attach the protective rubber ring to the side protection flap. Plug the communication connector onto the main XH and connect the positive and negative terminals of the battery power cable to the main XH. Don't forget to connect the dust caps to the link out communication port, the positive port and the negative port of the bottom battery module. Besides, Please remember to connect the grounding cable of the APX battery system by passing it through the protective rubber ring and then to the earth point. Place the side protection flaps over the sides of all battery modules and power module to complete the installation. You can discover the detailed installation and wiring tutorial from MinXH on the Crowwatt YouTube channel.